Uh, for those of you that don't know, like uh, what 3JS is, uh, it's a JavaScript open source JavaScript 3D library, mainly like for rendering. We're trying to like close a little bit the scope because 3D is too broad. Uh, it's the website 3.js, and you can download them, like see all the temples and future projects. And <coughs> before I go into see how to like uh, author stuff with it, I wanted to talk a bit about like uh, what we are uh, some tools that we had to develop. Uh, uh, for like allowing us to uh, develop web VR stuff. Um, some uh, months ago, I was having the, I was, I, want, I was starting to like develop the uh, tools on top of three to like uh, support all this stuff. Uh, but like, my problem is that I don't have a, uh, at the time and I'm, I'm still kind of like, at that moment I'm traveling and I don't have a VR headset to try this stuff with. But I still like want to develop for it. So one good thing about the web VR and like the web itself is that you can fake every API at any level. So the idea was like, oh, how about like doing a, a extension for Chrome where you can like fake uh, what the web VR API is kind of producing. So I just put that on Twitter, and my friend, uh, despite uh, like in a day, like he like just create this extension where you can basically like this is you know this is a web VR like web GL uh, context. And of course, like you, you have this, and you cannot really look at it because you need a, you know, expecting you to have a headset. So you go like, you install the extension. Then here, you like, you can basically like move the camera to whatever you want to go. You can also like rotate it and all this stuff. You know, it's not, it's not the most like useful. Uh, like it's, it's useful for me to, like to make sure that we're not breaking anything. Uh, but like it was pretty good. Like you just, you know, so I could like, continue travel, and you know, no, no worry too much about that. Uh, so that was not good enough, though. Um, like at some point, I really wanted to have like some sort of like a way of like uh, basically like recording yourself. So record the headset and the controllers, and then you can replay it. Like for, it has like many different uses. You can like uh, uh, like in my case, I was having issues with a, uh, a pro, uh, an application that I was doing, and I, I was tired of having to put the headset all the time. Uh, whenever I, I can actually use a headset. So I just made this also this other extension where it basically looks, if it finds like a web VR thing on the page, uh, I can access this little widget and I can load some recordings. So for instance, this one. And, it, and then play whatever thing, like whatever recording I did at the time. Like this is me, like the same widget allows you to like record yourself. Doing whatever, and then it saves a JSON file, and then you can load it again, and then you can play it again. And you know, it's very easy for like, especially debugging uh, whenever you have any issues. Uh, all right, so all that uh, right now, like uh, this extension is not web VR. Uh, uh, it doesn't like work with any web VR thing right now. It's like three, especially to have three on the page. Uh, but like, we're working on that to try to make it a little bit more uh, um, uh, easy to easy to use. So. Uh, this is a quick uh, run through. Uh, you want to do any like uh, web VR stuff uh, with three? You always like need to start with an HTML base. Uh, you need to put the script, the JavaScript inside there. Maybe make this a bit bigger. Uh, this is like a simple code where you create a scene. We're adding a helper, like a grid helper. You to see something. You need a camera. You need the mesh with geometry. Oh, yeah. And uh, then the renderer, and then we end up with this. Uh, we want to animate it, so we have to like put like a regression image frame, and then we end up with this. And uh, the only thing that you need to do in order to move into what VR is adding uh, controls for the camera and for the effect, and also like an effect for, for the renderer, so it renders to like two views if it has to. And then we end up like same thing here. We can do the recording. Let's go with this one and play. You can also speed it up if you want to. Yeah, that's all you need. Right. Uh, so you also want to interact with the page. So we also have to do a uh, Vive Controllers uh, object, so which basically like goes into the uh, game app, Gamepad API to uh, like and kind of like makes it a little bit, a little bit nicer. It just checks. Uh, also, I think Brian is somewhere around here. Like he did a lot of like uh, other listener stuff. Uh, to like make it like really easy to like uh, listen for events and like create your own application. This is like the abstract thing. You can listen for stuff, shit. And uh, uh, but you you want to actually see something, then you need to like load the OBJ file with the texture. Like you know, this is kind of like the base code that like you can just copy and paste. 
And then with that, you end up having, which one is this one, scope one? Yes. You can then replay every uh, pattern that you press at any point. Let me split it up. Like it replays every uh, information about the gamepad and the position. So now you can like replay this thing, like, you know, this is something that I recorded on VR, but like this is running on the Mango pair, and you can just use it for the bugging purposes or for like many other, whatever you need to get your phone useful. And that's well, I'm gonna do that. That's about it. <laughs>